Welcome to M3 is 3D, where there is in fact multiple ways to skin a cat. Morning roundup, we got a David. And we are making talent guitar octo pair. And we finally got the Einstein shirt head done. Big D20 energy. And Mechie boy is coming along. And the rarest of sights, a completed D20. This guy's going good. Got our coffee lid getting made. And this guy, I don't know why it stopped printing. It did pretty good. And there isn't a clog. I pushed filament easily through the nozzle. Maybe we just need to adjust the tension on this. I don't know. This is the problem stepchild of the fleet. Very happily, milkshakes coming along. And another coffee lid. Uh, let's see. There we go. <laughs> but Saruman, no such army exists. And here we've got the black T-Rex skull. Big David. Yellow guitar octo. Well, there's no sense in putting it off any longer. We are going to try the rebuilt motor and see if it leads us to victory. Bam! All right, we're gonna give this thing a shot. Here goes nothing. Okay, maybe it's the controller. I mean, it really might be. Okay, we did the wire test and it is the controller. So the motor probably wasn't even bad, but the controller went out, so whatever. Red wire, black wire. that okay well this was a pain but apparently this is what went out i do typically uh stock a spare one of these speed controllers because they're kind of janky but they're also super inexpensive so hopefully i have an extra now you can just connect those wires and run it at full speed but it's actually better to row it to run it a little bit slower Okay, I didn't label this, but I believe this is an extra. Usually I put it in a bag and write something on it, but the fact that I kept it does highly suggest that it probably works. All right, good. We're in business, boys. Well, it's working, and this is the new rebuilt motor, so... Even though it was the control, the speed controller that we needed to replace, the rebuilt motor is working perfectly normal. So thank you, Gary7. All right, that kind of took forever. We're going to paint some stuff. Sharky. Check this out, this is a thermal label. Pretty cool, huh? Here, take a look at this. Oh, looks like they didn't pick up the packages again. <laughs> Why? What do I have to do? Yeah. 
And we got a little violin hanger. I think we are done stocking up, except for Moai's, which we'll make more of. But I think we got all the Einsteins and all the Davids we need. It's pretty much a full complement right there. Also, we've got three D20s built up now. They seem to be printing pretty consistently. We need 17 of them. Let me see, it's the fourth or something, or the fifth. We got time to make that many. So yeah, we've been we've been really working hard at getting these guys made, and I think we're we're pretty much good. Like I said, we'll probably get another level of Moais, maybe a little more than that. But it's pretty easy to bang out those Moais. They're not huge. Also, this printer printing quite nicely. I think the increased uh, airflow fan really, really has been a, a valuable addition. We did the same thing on this printer, if you remember, and it printed an entire D20, printing another one very handily. I think the larger box fans like this really are the ticket. They do push out a lot of air. But yeah, I think we're good for today. I would have worked on more printers and stuff, but the whole filament machine extruder situation took kind of forever. Especially once I figured out the controller wasn't the thing that worked. But it is very cool that Gary 7's rebuilt gear motor actually works. It's been making, I think it's made three rolls so far, and it's acting totally normal. So I think we really figured something out. Oh yeah, the first payment for the new batch of plastic went through today. We have to split it into three um, payments because of spending limits, but the new plastic is coming our way. Join the Discord, link below. Chihuahua of the day. Joe, question, do you have insurance? Any tips on insurance for the business in case it all burns down, like from a fire or some unusual event? Lemonade's pretty good. Um, I don't know. I would really shop around. Having some kind of insurance is advisable. J-Man, small business owner here who uses 3D printers to manufacture physical items. I mean, pretty much any kind of print. That's about the only thing they can manufacture. What would a non-physical item be? If you operate out of a physical location that's not your home and you own that location, you need a business owner's policy that covers the building, its contents, and general liability. If you don't own that location, you need general liability, have employees, now you need workers' comp and unemployment insurance. Yes, there's a lot of insurances that are required when you start getting fancy. By the way, Parmesan John is back. That is all. Hard copy. Those tacos look amazing. What style were they? I'm grateful my dog, 13 pound Jack Chi, comes to nest by my head each morning even though he wakes me up early. That is a very nice way to wake up. They were Al Pastor. They're very good. Iron Meg, welcome to the jungle. We have obligations. That one made me laugh after a really long day at work. I liked it when I said it. R m o i i i you also sat down and listened to the entire album start to finish which people almost never do anymore yes it was album rock and we loved it <laughs> this is a good one xxr designs 23 just make a cool colorful sign with ai for the door add a arrow cartoon with hands pointing at the message make it their usps colors so they can gravitate to it I had the words thanks and have a nice day should work yeah i could make like a cardboard cutout of myself and put it next to the door so that uh, the post office actually feels some kind of pressure to do the thing they agreed to do maybe i could just paint the house i could like put a big mural on the side that's like please actually pick up the packages post office isaac and crom 115 yay I'm glad. I appreciate the enthusiasm. JR303, I went to Lollapalooza to see Pearl Jam. I paid, I think, $40 a ticket for that show. Best fe festival ever. 
Saw Pearl Jam the year before for $5. Man, I bet that was in like 1994. I bet you anything it was 94 or 95, maybe 93. People that don't know, Pearl Jam had a big fight with Ticketmaster in the early 90s. And so what they started doing was they started playing only college shows, which were much, much cheaper. $5 a ticket probably was about right for, uh, for the early 90s. If you only paid $5 to see Pearl Jam, that's probably when it would have happened. Let me know if that guess is right, but as a historian of music, that would be my educated surmisal. Well, the standout today, I am grateful that the rebuilt motor worked, is working, and uh, it's still an experiment. You know, maybe it lasts slightly less than a brand new motor, who knows, but I mean, it's, it's working like a champ so far. I'm pretty happy with that. That is definitely unambiguously what I am grateful for. Let me know in the comments what you are grateful for. We are the Gratitude Gang. All you gotta be, all you gotta do to be in the gang is be grateful for something. Join the Discord. We have the most thriving community on the entire planet. There are memes. We will catch you on the next fire-breathing, fantastic, ludicrous speed episode. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.